Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some more iOS 13 hidden features. Now iOS 13 now is more than a week old and of course new features are being discovered day by day. So here I have some really cool features that are also very useful. Starting off with Safari. Now on Safari on iOS 13, now you can add bookmarks for multiple tabs you might have opened. Just go ahead and tap and hold right there on the bookmark icon. And as you can see, we'll have options to go ahead and set this bookmark or you can go ahead and set bookmarks for all the tabs that you have open. Or for example, you're browsing here a normal tab here on Safari. You wanna go full screen mode. All you gotta do is just swipe up right there at the top and as you can see it will go on the full screen mode you tap right there to go back to the normal mode or if you're on a tab right here that supports the reader view all you gotta do is just force touch on the letters right there to go to the reader view something really really awesome that i really like is that if you go ahead and want to open a new tab you want to open here a website you can see i have apple open right there apple.com if i want to go ahead and open apple.com right here you can see it will detect that I already have it opened on another tab and it gives me the option to switch to that tab right here. That's really cool. And if you go to the first page right here, you have serious suggestions and as you can see, if someone will message you a link to a website or something, it will show you right here from on the suggestions. You can see from messages, you will see the link that someone has messages you. So it will give you that option to go ahead and open that link here on Safari. Another really cool feature is now on the contacts pages. So if you go to a contact, you can edit it. You can see right there. If you go to the picture of the contact, you can go ahead and set any of the any emojis as a picture for that contact, or you can create here the Memoji for that contact. That's really, really awesome. And also you can add different filters to the contacts picture. Just tap right there and you can go ahead and edit color and you can see different filters that can be added to the picture of the contact. On iOS 13, now you can add shortcuts to the assistive touch menu. So if you go to customize the assistive touch menu, you can see right here, it will give you the option to add shortcuts to the assistive touch menu and you can launch any of the shortcuts using assistive touch. That's really, really awesome. You can see here, I have added a bunch of apps which I can open directly from the assistive touch menu. On iOS 13, now when you take multiple screenshots, you will have the option right here at the top to go ahead and delete single screenshots. So here I have two different screenshots. I can go ahead and delete just this one. On iOS 12 and previous, you only had the option to delete all of them. On the mail app and other apps as well, like notes or messages, you will have the option to easy select simply by swiping your finger right here. So you can see at the check marks, all you gotta do is just hit edit and then just swipe your finger to easily select. On the new mail app on iOS 13, now you can have drafts looking like tabs right here. So if you have multiple drafts, you can see it will show them at the bottom right here. And if you tap, it will show you this tab view. It looks just like tabs on Safari and you can go ahead and switch between different tabs. On iOS 13, on the mail app, now you also have the option to swipe like this and go ahead and perform actions within the mail. Now, this was a feature also available on iOS 12, but it only worked on emails that had multiple replies. But now with iOS 13, this will work on any email. On the books app on iOS 13, if you swipe down here, you will find reading goals. This is really, really awesome. It allows you to set different goals for daily reading. So this of course will motivate you to read more. So you can of course adjust this and set as many minutes as you want and tap done and you will have also the option to share this. This is really, really awesome and you can basically track how much you read within the day. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some amazing new features that can be found within iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.